Welcome back to Houston Life. Next month, a hilarious but factual play about Texas history is coming to match Houston. Yeah, it's called Aces, a true story about five Miss Texas winners who won the Miss USA crown for five years <laughs> in a row. It's a true story, okay? It's awesome so joining story. us are three of the stars Nora Hahn, Audrey Coe, Pam Green, and the playwright Davis Gilbert is also <laughs> joining us now. Welcome to all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, Davis, I want to start with you because this, a lot of people are captivated by pageants, myself included, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And this is something, so from 1985 to 1989, year after year, Miss Texas was going on to win the crown of Miss USA. That's right. And you thought this story should come to life on stage. Absolutely. Um, these ladies went through a year of training so they had to be perfect in almost every single category and they were and each one crowned the other one and I just think that's that's a feat that's amazing to me. It's remarkable and yeah. it has never happened since. Nope. I mean, just another reason to have Texas pride, right? Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Another reason. Audrey, I'll, I'll keep the questions going with you. Yeah. What was the most unexpected part about playing, uh, you know, your character? Because it is a real story, but you, you know, you're making people laugh and you're bringing it to life. Yeah, it was very interesting. I mean, playing individuals and playing real people, you definitely want to be respectful of them and, and not make it, you know, farcical. So it's it's just sort of a lighthearted tribute to them is, is how I see it. Okay. Pam, you're playing the winner from 1985, yes. Laura Elena Martinez. Mm -hmm. And is there footage that exists? How do you all prepare for a role like this? You go back and you actually watch the pageant footage? Yes. Well, Although we want to pay homage to these ladies and we want to be respectful of their true selves, we don't actually know them. So we are taking this lovely story that's based on a true story and we are creating our own characters. So we have all created as actresses our own little characters that don't exactly match their personalities, but we have watched video footage mm -hmm. and we have researched them a little bit to make sure we at least are respectful in our representation. Yeah. Yeah. And Nora, what part do you like about playing uh, your role in Aces? Tell us a little bit about it. Kim was kind of the OG. You know, she was the first one in 1977 that kind of started the role. And then they came by uh, a few years later. And so she's kind of like the mother hen, tries to keep them all, you know, on track as they tell their stories. And then, of course, as the interview goes on, they get a little bit carried away with talking to each other. So it's kind of fun to reel them back in. And at the end, they all really do discover how much they love each other and support each other. Okay, that's good. So there's yeah. no fighting behind the scenes. I mean, in the fictional behind the scenes. <laughs> no stealing dresses. Uh, Davis, this show had a successful run in Palm Springs, California, yes. March and April of last year. Uh, what was the audience response there? And this is the first time it's being staged here in Houston, is that right? Yes. Um, the audience in Palm Springs and the ladies who did it in Palm Springs, they were just, they were amazing. However, I don't think it's going to hit the heart of the people. It's like it's going to hit the heart of Texas people with Texas women, you know, mm -hmm. doing something amazing in Texas. And that, that's what we really hope to, to have. Yeah, I, I mean, Audrey, this is something that you're bringing to Texas audiences. Do you have any expectations or what are you excited about them to see and learn? Well, I'm excited actually for the newer generations. A lot of people don't know about that story. So it's lovely to be able to bring that story to life. And I think there's a lot in the play that will really resonate with Texans and they can just really understand the Texas pride that we all have. Mm -hmm. so. You all have done a lot of shows uh, before and we featured several of you on our show before. It's always nice. I feel like the theater community in Houston is filled with so much talent. And it seems like at Match, there's an opportunity to have a more intimate situation than in a lot of these larger, huge, like, proscenium theaters. So what has the rehearsal process been like for y'all? And, uh, and, and how does this compare to other shows you've done? You do Nora, have to yeah. keep in mind that the audience may be just a few right there. feet away from you. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, sometimes they feel like they're actually and they want to touch the set. But um, to keep that, you know, that bit of the fourth wall between you is good. But it's also so wonderful that they get that intimate feeling, that they really do know you. They feel mm -hmm. like they're a part of the process. And we're actually looking forward to some of the audience members wearing their tiaras or their uh, yes. dresses. Yes, oh, that absolutely. makes it very, very encouraging. Please do. Oh, I think gosh. that's great. Yes, mm -hmm. that's wonderful. Well, and Pam, do the the slightest nuance, your facial expressions, and all of mm -hmm. those things. When you're delivering a role like this, do you have do you look in a mirror and just work on the subtleties because the audience is that close to you? Absolutely, um, they are so close that they can see every little twitch of your face and so we do work really hard on all our reactions staying in character the whole time even if we have two pages where we don't speak it's it's a lot but they are literally on the floor with us the front row 
I, so. I literally want you guys to crown me like okay. I would, uh, yeah. absolutely can. Absolutely. And you then I'll pass it on to Derek because yeah. that's a dynasty. The dynasty continues. That would yes. be great. We'll do that next. Green, Audrey Co., David Gilbert. Thanks to all four of you. You can catch Aces May 2nd through the 5th at Match Houston.